I am at the library. I'm not sure what that car up there is doing, but it was stopped on the highway. And these other cars had to wait for it. I don't know. Anyways, I'm actually at the front door because it gets a little bit faster internet here. And I'm just parked here under all of the lights. And actually, the road here is actually quite busy. There's like a main road, right, that runs through here. And it's actually quite busy, so I feel pretty safe. My windows, man, are all bugged up. It's so buggy and humid out here. It's amazing. So I am just going in to upload some more of my videos. So I'm going to click on the upload. I have not used beta yet because I'm not sure how that all works. So I'm going to stick to the old-fashioned way and upload them like I normally do. So we have... I got the carb cycling one up there going. So we want the 21st. I think this is the right one. What I ate on freestyle. So we're going to pull this one in there and just drop it in. And yep, 21st day one on carb cycling. Okay, so that one, you can see the time there still going up this is i'm not sure how long of a video maybe 15 minutes or so so hopefully it doesn't take too long and of course it's going to take a little longer because i'm also uploading this one this is my carb cycling one and that one's 35 percent done now but there's no time showing up yet so this is even longer oh man i'm hoping it's not too long All right, guys, I am on my low carb day. However, breakfast is always high carb every morning. So I'm having my fruit for breakfast and I'm having the wrap, which is uh, five net carbs, I think. So that's five. And I'm not sure how much a cup of grapes are, but I will look it up and see. I'll put it down below. And then, of course, my coffee. This all together is six smart points because I've got an ounce of cheese on there. Okay, this was our lunch and I forgot, well, I didn't forget to film it, but I was thought I was filming and I didn't press the record button. So I'm going to, I'm going to tell you what I did here. I put some chicken breast in the pan, a tablespoon of oil, some broccoli and some cabbage. And then I added onion powder, uh, garlic powder and some chili seasoning. And then I just um, let it boil and then I did add a little bit of soy sauce and this was actually really good Corey and I both really enjoyed this and this was lunch and it was just two smart points because of the olive oil having some cottage cheese and then I had some turkey pepperoni for our trip I packed this in our cooler it is 243 and we came to the cheese place here and they were out of our smoke cheddar <gasps> Now we have to come back at another time. So we got some onion and chives or something like that. So we are making a frittata for dinner tonight because we have lower carb lunch and dinner. And the only carb is in this ham here. It's just got like a gram of it. Possibly not even a gram because we're going to divide it in two. So maybe half a gram. And then that is it. And we have a teaspoon of oil in here. We get a little bit of our healthy fats. And we're also going to have some avocado on the side. So we have our unlimited vegetables in here, which is onions and peppers. And then we have the ham, some garlic, which is a spice, and some oil. And now we're soon we're going to add our eggs here, or our spinach, sorry, and then our eggs. We've got a bunch of spinach too. I got all my spinach chopped up, ready to go into there. We have an ounce of cheese ready to go, so we'll each get a half an ounce of cheese. Dinner tonight is a half a frittata with three tablespoons of salsa, plus a side of avocado for our healthy fats. That's dinner tonight, and this is just five smart points. Not bad. Good evening, guys. I was just watching Dish with D live and I thought, oh, I have to hurry up and get on here and do my closure. And you guys are crooked. Okay, I think that's better. 
So I was watching her live and then I really wanted to stay watching, but it's getting dark out and I have to get to the library and I haven't even edited my video yet. So I had to film this really quick and then get this edited really quick. And then I started filming it and then I realized I forgot my mic and I know how much you guys like me to have my mic on because it is hard to hear me from way back. I have my, my camera set pretty far back. So yeah, I had to refilm. Anyway, what I wanted to bring up was we went to the cheese store and got a bunch of cheese. We went all the way there and they did not have my smoked cheddar. I was so upset about that. But guess what we saw on the road dead? It was a bear, big black bear. And I felt so terrible. I'm like, oh man, I hope he didn't suffer for very long because it's horrible thinking about that. But it's the first time we ever saw a dead bear on the road. As for the carb cycling thing, I'm not sure if I'm going to continue to do it because it's kind of confusing. The book is kind of confusing to me because it says on the low carb days that you should have a higher point breakfast or a higher carb breakfast. The rest of the day should be zero carbs. But then he says in the next sentence that you should eat two fistful of vegetables and all of the vegetables that are listed have carbs in them. So I'm not, it's kind of confusing. So I'm not sure, maybe I'll just follow it and just do as planned and have the vegetables, even though they do have carbs and just have everything else that don't have carbs. I don't know. I don't know. It depends on what my weigh-in says on Saturday, whether or not I'm going to keep doing it or not. I probably will just end up going back to the same thing that I was doing and just counting points and just doing it like normal. I just like trying new things up just to see if maybe it's like, whoa, this really works well. You know what I mean? So you just try different things within the Weight Watcher program though, because I don't ever want to stop the Weight Watcher program because I really like it and I know it works for me. In the points that I did yesterday and today, worked out perfectly. Like it was 25 points and then today I was, I think I have three points left over. So it works out perfect having, you know, eating this way. And I'm pretty much right in my, my calorie range, 1200 to 1400, right around there. I'm really happy with it. So if I can continue to eat this way, even though I may be adding more carbs than I really want to on some days, it's going to be fine. It's going to be fine. I try to eat fruit every morning just because I want to get my fruit in there because it is a good carb and I don't want to leave fruit out. So tomorrow morning, I'll probably end up having a banana. I want to try the peanut butter banana shake. It sounds so good. And I want to try that. So I'll let you guys know. I'll take you along with me. I tried doing my lunch today and I was filming it and I thought, oh, I'll do just like a montage of it. I didn't have the darn thing turned on, guys. I did not have it turned on. And then I realized it, so I turned it on at the last minute. So you guys saw everything in the pan ready to go, but already cooking up. But you didn't see the process of me getting there. So I'm going to try to remember to do that and turn it on next time. I'll bring you along for lunch tomorrow and show you what I make. It'll probably be similar because I have to. I have two chicken breasts that I have to use up. So it'll probably pretty be pretty similar to what I made. But anyway, I'm going to let you go here because I want to get to the library. I have to edit this again and then go to the library and upload before it gets, well, it's already dark. So I might as well just face it. I'm going to have to be sitting in the dark. But this time I only have one video to upload and not three. Yesterday I sat at the library for over an hour and a half and I was just watching videos catching up, which was fine. And there ended up being a lady next to me who was doing something on her laptop too. So I felt safe and comfortable there because there is a lady right next to me. Although she had her window rolled down and I bet you she was getting eaten alive by mosquitoes because I rolled down my window just for a little bit to cool it off in the car. Five mosquitoes instantly came and attacked me. So I'm like, up goes the window and I just suffered it out. <laughs> Today is cooler though. It's only 71, but it's so freaking humid. Oh my gosh. I was so... I have been so grumpy this whole week because the humidity is killing me and our air conditioner is on the fritz right now and we don't want to turn it. It, it works, but it's making this noise and we don't want to burn out the motor if there's something wrong with it. You know what I mean? So we're going to have it serviced and get it checked out really well before we turn it on. But it's been a week and it's, oh, this humidity is crazy. I just don't like it. It's not if it was not so humid, the heat wouldn't bother me. It's the humidity that really gets to me. It's just sticky and wet. And when I go to bed, 
my bed even feels sticky and wet. It just, oh, I just hate it. I got so upset yesterday when I went to bed that I tore off my side of the sheet and threw it up towards Corey. And I just slept on the mattress pad because we have a, a terry cloth mattress pad. And I just slept on that. And it was so much better. I fell asleep right away. I could not fall asleep on the sheet. I don't know why, but it was much better. So anyway, I'm going to let you go here. Please be sure to like and subscribe if you haven't already and be sure to share it if you think anybody else may like it. I will talk to you guys tomorrow for another What I Ate. Be sure to check out my Facebook group. It's always down below in the description box. And also check out Instagram. I'm Weight Watchers with Carrie on Instagram. And I share, if I remember to take a picture of my food, I share my food on there that I'm eating and books that I read. We will talk to you guys tomorrow. Bye guys. And now it's time to reveal it. It's a flow, kill a bit, and we dance like we're back from the dead. And if you want my opinion,